happening today with his sentence handed down. Daryl Brooks, the man convicted of killing six people and hurting more than 60 others in the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack, now faces separate charges in Milwaukee. Our Elaine Rojas Castillo joins us live from the Milwaukee County Courthouse with what lies ahead, Elaine. Good morning, Simone and Tom. As you mentioned, the Waukesha trial is done, but that doesn't mean that Daryl Brooks is done being seen by a judge. And today, he has his final pretrial hearing for three different cases here in Milwaukee County, covering a wide range of felony charges, including domestic abuse, witness intimidation, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Now, this all happened about a day after Judge Jennifer Dora on Waukesha handed down her sentence to Brooks, six consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. Yesterday, during these victim impact statements, Brooks actually had the chance to speak, and he spoke for nearly two hours, covering a variety of topics, including his difficult childhood, that he didn't know what he was doing the day of the attack, and he asked that he be given help for what he's going through. Still, within those two hours, the judge says that Brooks only apologized once. Judge Doro says that Brooks was not fueled by mental illness, but rather by rage. I want you to know that not only am I sorry for what happened, I'm sorry that you could not see <coughs> what's truly in my heart. He chose to drive recklessly, carelessly, and maliciously through a parade route, this community can only be safe if you are behind bars for the rest of your life. If convicted for these felony charges here in Milwaukee County, Brooks faces not only additional fines, but also more years in prison. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News. Well, we'll definitely have to wait to see what happens here in Milwaukee. Thanks, Elaine.